I've turned RuneScape into a roguelike, and I'm locking myself into RuneScape's regions randomly for 24 hours at a time. In those 24 hours, I progress my account, bank, skills, and quests as far as possible, and then I take on the hardest PVM content in that area. If I fail the PVM challenge, I wipe my entire account, dropping everything I have ever accumulated. But if I succeed, I permanently unlock the ability to save one item if I wipe in the future. What's the goal? If I manage to successfully complete all 10 regions in a row, I'll immediately gear up and challenge Zook the hardest PVM content in the game. If I win, the series is over, but if I fail, I wipe and start all over again. Can it be done? Let's find out. Hello, all you beautiful people, and welcome to another episode of the Rogue Like OSRS series. Thank you guys so much for checking out today's video, and of course, remember, if you end up enjoying it, please think about hitting that like button, subscribe button, and turning on that bell notification. And without further ado, let's get in to that beautiful recap. So last episode, we ended up rolling Zaya, and this time around, I was able to actually complete all of the house quests, which unlocked a lot of great stuff for us. But I really wanted to focus on two things in this region. I wanted to focus on construction, and I wanted to focus on herb lore, and we did just that. Thankfully, I was able to buy a rune axe in the woodcutting guild. And I was able to woodcut with much higher efficiency than ever before. I also weaved my time by pickpocketing master farmers, getting herb seeds, and working on getting that herb lore level up. And then I remembered I had insult heads in my bank, and we were able to snag a couple of prayer levels. We got really close to the end of the time in the region, and it was time to roll the boss. And we ended up rolling at Chambers of Zarek. I knew this was going to be an absolutely hilarious attempt. So I geared myself up in my best gear. And ran it in with my brother. I survived for a total of five minutes. And I'm pretty sure three of that was just talking. And we ultimately ended up dying twice. Which was the stipulation I put on myself. Resulting in us failing the region. And then we ended up rolling Volamore. Which leads us to where we are right now okay we are gonna be taking our first steps over into Baltimore. i am very excited for this i've done a little bit of research there are four quests in this region that we have access to i can only do two of them which is completely fine i can do the riveting tale of the lily pad labor dispute and twilight promise Although I'm only going to be able to do Twilight Promise if I can actually make a bow and or cast magic. So I feel like I should be able to do either one of those things. So I'm going to go ahead and actually get started on the Riveting Tail of the Lily Pad because apparently I can get an axe while doing that quest and I don't know where to get one in this region outside of that for right now. There we are completing the riveting tale of a lily pad labor dispute. Honestly, this quest was very well written. Hands hands together for like whoever wrote the script for this because that was hilarious. So I got the axe. I also figured out that I can buy one over here at the Sun Sunset Coast General Store. So I've been doing like a lot of looking around. I can't do anything hunter related here. It is super unfortunate i have to complete eagle's peak in order to be even able to hunt the ember tails and then everything else is just a higher level than what my hunter is i obviously can't do the at first light quest since i haven't completed eagle's peak either so i think i'm going to fish for a little bit because i'm definitely going to need food for the one quest and then i'm going to probably do some thieving there are a lot of shops around here where I can buy stuff like there's a helmet shop over here there is a mace shop yeah over here uh, there's also a sword shop so oh there also is an allotment patch so I can actually do more thieving because I saw a master farmer somewhere over here so yeah food is definitely the call the only unfortunate part is that there is not a bank anywhere near here but I saw that one of the quests, I think, unlocks this transportation system. But it unfortunately is the quest where I need two different styles of combat. So once I get a little bit of food, I'm going to figure out, like, if I can actually do that quest or not. 
Okay, so good news is that I definitely can do that quest. I saw that there was like places to mine and I wasn't sure if there's actually a furnace here, but there is one over here. There also is an anvil over here and all the way down here. So I'll be able to make throwing knives for range combat. So that's not really going to be an issue. I will just make some, I guess, steel throwing knives or bronze throwing knives because iron's not that like reliable when it comes to making bars. So I'll make either one of those, but I am going to get at least an inventory of cooked food and then make my way over mine some of that ore and then attempt to do that quest it shouldn't honestly be too difficult since i have prayer but i've never done it before so i don't really know what it entails okay so we're done here of course i've got my you know quest tab here but depositing some lobsters there's a pastel mortar i picked up don't know if i'll need it but i'm gonna go ahead and do that anyway i'm gonna draw my rune pick put this back in here and then i am going to go mine and find out where I can get a hammer. I'm assuming I can probably just buy one, which isn't really that big of a deal. So I'll go ahead and do that after I'm done mining. Need to make some throwing knives for this quest, and then I'm going to go ahead and do that quest. So I've been like running around looking at stuff just at the shops. I was not aware that they actually sold rune maces here. And if I can somehow get wall runes and teleport over to my house, there's a stone mason shop here. And I can buy limestone to actually build a portal focus. So that's going to be something that I look forward to in the future to see if I can actually do that. I'm going to go ahead and make these steel bars. Going to go do another trip. And then I should have enough throwing knives for this quest. All right. This is a shop. I can buy adamant stuff here. Okay. I definitely will be getting cash. I will be doing thieving in this region for sure. There's a lot of fun thieving stuff to do. So I'll be able to get like some full adamant. I'm pretty sure they like, where's that, where's that helmet shop at? It's down over here. I didn't actually look while I was over here, but I assume it maybe has an adamant med helm. So definitely be able to get some armor while I'm here. That'll be nice. And here we are completing Twilight Lights Promise. Honestly, really good quests. I spend a lot of time reading these new quests just so I can look at the lore behind everything. Really excited for the rest of Valamore to really get developed. This is going to be an amazing, amazing area. And we unlocked all the transportation systems now, I'm pretty sure. So that's super nice. That'll definitely help me while I am fishing. Oh, I did not mean to click on that while I'm fishing because there is a transportation system right here, really close, and I can just take it, I think like right over here, and then be at least way closer to the bank than anywhere else I could go. <laughs> so I am, I think, going to continue fishing for now until I figure out what exactly I want to get done. I know I need food for thieving because the wealthy citizens are 50 thieving, and I'm not really that much higher than that. 65 so we'll still fail a good amount there we are with a 67 fishing absolutely beautiful this will probably be the last inventory of lobsters i go ahead and do this will put us over the threshold of 200 and then i'm going to go ahead and start that thieving okay we are really close to getting a thieving level and honestly i feel like there really is just so much to do here even though i don't really have access to everything I also really love the way that they did the thieving here. So like every minute and a half, there's like a child that will distract the wealthy citizens. And there we are with 66 thieving. And you just get to thief from the distracted citizen unabated for 20 seconds. It's actually so nice. I'm going to continue thieving from these wealthy citizens until I get 100 house keys. And then I'm going to figure out what exactly... Uh, how that works man this is so unfortunate that this is not part of Zaya because four of these steps are Zaya steps we are about to hit another thieving level and honestly I'm having so much fun I do have an easy clue that I'm juggling there is an easy clue step on Valmore there we are 68 thieving I am really close to the 100 house keys goal I'm gonna look up a video on what exactly this entails but it looks like there are citizens that leave their houses and then you break in with the house key and just steal valuables until they're about to come back. That is the gist of the rundown that I got from uh, one of my buddies. 
So I'll go ahead and look up a guide on that. We're already four hours in. I feel like I'm just having so much fun because it is a new region. Okay, so I have figured out the house keys thing. Honestly, it's pretty tight, not gonna lie. There is a beautiful plugin. If you guys are not aware of it, I have the, uh, I think it's like the Valamore Thieving plugin. It's the House Thieving Valamore plugin. It is super, super nice. So occasionally when you're in the house, one of the items that you can actually thieve from will glow green. You'll get a big stack of experience plus bonus valuables. And you basically just chill here until the owner starts to come back. You'll get notified if you're using this plugin when the owner gets close and you just leave through the window. So it's pretty nice AFK experience. I don't really know what these are for. I guess you can sell them for cash. I'm gonna have a lot of cash after this, so I'll be able to buy all the armor in this region for sure. Man, I am gonna end up with a lot more cash than what I realized <laughs> I was going to do. And I'm also gonna be spending a lot more time thieving than what I thought I was going to be spending. I didn't really know how these keys worked. I love the fact that I am getting, like, this is gonna be a magic amulet. This is gonna be an amulet of power, like, once I can actually enchant. Although I'm not entirely sure I'm anywhere, like, close to that since they hit it. Uh, 57, okay. I'm not too far away. Yeah, I'm gonna end up with a lot of cash. And I can get jewelry all the way up to diamonds, so, like, I could also, like, we got a games necklace here. Could get some emerald rings for some dueling rings as well. It's gonna be really nice. There we are with 70 thieving. Honestly, had no idea I was gonna be getting that in this region. I still have 70 seven house keys to go i woefully underestimated <laughs> the amount of time i was gonna spend thieving in this region but it's okay because they're all like honestly there's really not a lot for me to be doing here since i can't do any of the hunter contracts or hunters guild so i guess thieving is really what it's gonna be this time around there we are with 70 for thieving that is the last level i think i'll be getting in this region i was not expecting to do this much thieving we have over ten thousand valuables and i think this is the person that i trade them into okay let's go ahead and trade these in oh my gosh <laughs> we have over 700k and there's not really anything to buy in this region which is kind of wild we also have all of this, which is really nice. Could be able to get a power amulet. I have these blessed bone shards. From my knowledge, they're five prayer experience each. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the supplies to actually convert those. And then I think I'll get a prayer level from this. So that'll be nice. Well, this is pretty AFK and pretty chill. It does drain prayer points but there is an altar right over here and that is gonna hit us with the 58 prayer we had just enough absolutely a beautiful love to see it all right i went ahead and bought the adamant plate body and plate legs let's take a look here yup we can buy the adamant full helm so we now have full adamant very very nice i also forgot that i was wearing an emerald amulet and gold ring that's fine I'm going to go buy a cape from the clothes shop. I'm pretty sure I can snag one there. And then we won't look so much like a complete noob over here. Well, believe it or not, <laughs> I am actually going back to thieving. But this time to a master farmer. I uh, definitely want to use the allotment patch that's here. Get some herbs and see what I can get done. So I'm going to thief from this guy for a bit until we get some good seeds. And then... Yeah, I'm gonna plant them, get some herbs, and hopefully be able to transport those into the next region. Okay, so I just got done at Master Farmers. I have, honestly, a lot of herb seeds, and let's go ahead and switch this because we are not at, uh, not at 11 hours, we're almost at 12 hours. So yeah, I got a lot of herb seeds. Unfortunately, no ran ours. I did this for about an hour. Uh, but this should be enough herb seeds to tide us over, especially if we roll a region next that also has an allotment patch. So I'm just going to start working on getting some herbs, and hopefully the next region uh, will have some stuff where I can train Herblore. As far as what I'm going to do now, there really is not a lot for me to do here. I could power mine. Honestly, I might do that for a bit. 
but I think I want to focus on at least getting 68 fishing. I am 67 at the moment, so it's not like I'm too far away from that. And honestly, I'll probably knock out 75 thieving while we're here as well. And then maybe hit like 55 mining. Like those realistically are the goals. There's not really a lot that I can do here at the moment. I can't even complete two of the quests and one of them is like <laughs> really good because that's the boss in the region. So yeah, I guess I'm just going to focus on doing that. And this region is going to have a lot of AFK time. And there we are with 43 farming. I also completely missed 65 cooking i was on my laptop and then i just kind of zoned out because i stopped cooking the lobsters i was like all right i'm not gonna miss this clip and then i missed it anyway so i'm through the harlanders i'm through the terramin seeds i'm working my way on the marintil seeds and i also found out that i can actually buy pineapples in this region so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and start making some super compost to store for later this is the kind of stuff i like to figure out so I was looking around, no vials here. I can't really make anything either, but then I remembered the farmers at the allotment patches sell plant cure. And I'm paying 25 gold per vial, but that's fine. I don't really need a lot. Honestly, I was just gonna get these. I can just empty these and use them now to train Herbalore. So that is really nice. Hey, there we are, 68 fishing, my goal so that I could get into the fishing guild next time that we roll Kandarin. I'm gonna finish up this inventory. We're looking real good with Herbalore. I'm definitely gonna be able to hit 40 in this region. Really like that. Honestly, I'm probably gonna hit 44 farming as long as I keep up with what I'm doing. And I also found out that there's sand crabs <laughs> down here uh, when I was just exploring way earlier in the region. So I'm probably just going to AFK some combat as well, try to get some 65 defense and probably 64 or 65 hit points. There's not really anything else that I can do here at the moment. And there we are with 65 defense. So very nice. I am done training combat. Got about two hours left. So for the remainder, I am going to be working on finishing off all the herb seeds that I have gathered in this region. And some of you may be wondering, well, what about the boss? This is another region that is essentially going to be a semi free roll, at least until I get the Slayer level for Perilous Moons. So the Colosseum is sort of like being compared to the Inferno. So we're not going to touch that at the moment. We're going to assess that in a future, future video and at a future time. But I have special plans for the Colosseum. So until I am able to complete the quest that allows us to do Perilous Moons, this region's gonna be semi-free. I mean, to be honest, there really isn't that much for me to do here at the moment anyway, outside of thieving, fishing, some power mining, which is very boring, and some herb lore and some farming training. So. I'm gonna focus on that for the last two hours. Maybe I'll have enough time to get 75 thieving, but we shall see. There we are with 75 thieving. I knew I was gonna get it in this region. We still have like a little over an hour left, but soon we'll, we will be rolling our next region. I am very excited to see what we roll into. We will have a lot of cash going into that region. We are finishing up what herb lore I can do in this region. That is 40. That honestly feels so nice to get. I had a few irid seeds, so I'm just finishing those off before we roll the next region. Okay, I just got done collecting the rest of the irids here, and that pretty much is going to wrap it up for this region. We've got about 30 minutes left, and our bank is sitting at over 1 mil after we came in with just a tackle box, a rune pick, dragon dagger, and rune defender. So that is really nice. I was able to acquire a full set of adamant gear. Still just have like my quest tab here. And I was able to get some seeds, some secondary ingredients, a lot of marantils. Unfortunately, I did not see any unicorns here. Although I didn't look too hard, so maybe I just missed some. About 600 lobbies and 765k cash. Now for what we accomplished in this region, we started off with 54 quests completed. We are all the way up to 56 now. 
and we came in at 93 quest points and we are now at 95. When we came in, we were at 212 total level and now we're at 1236. And we were at 5,600,000 experience when we came in and we're leaving with right around 6,800,000 experience, which is a net gain of 1.2 million. So let's go ahead and roll our new region. If we go over here and look at the map, boom, we can see here on June 29th, we rolled Valmore. In the region before that, we had rolled Zaya. So we've got all these unlocked, one through nine. We still can't go into the elf lands at the moment. So let's go ahead and pick our next chunk. I'm feeling very, very good. There's a lot we can do with the cash that we have, except in Mauritania. Which is exactly where we rolled. Oh no, I have like no runes, nothing. Oh, oh no. Okay. Well, that's like the one area I really didn't want to roll because I can't do anything with my cash here. That is a little unfortunate. Um, Yeah, and we haven't really went to another region where... I can continue the quests, I think. I actually might have some of the die. So I actually think I do have the die. Okay, I might be able to complete Ghost Ahoy. Maybe. If I'm actually able to make the correct stuff. I do have some orange die as well, so that's pretty nice. So hopefully I can get that quest done. That's actually a really nice quest to have. I can have a one-click teleport in that area. Um, I can't... <laughs> I don't think no matter what we roll, we're going to win because I don't think I'll actually be able to beat Barrows. I have zero magic equipment and I don't think we're going to get any <laughs> in that region. So I guess I'll see what I can do. But um, yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I truly, truly appreciate it. And of course, you know, I gotta give a shout out to the channel members. Thank you guys so, so much. We have Sir Otterman at the third age tier. We have Tom at the crystal tier. And we have Father Duo, Liz Lemon, and Lane B at the master tier. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. Honestly, I truly, truly appreciate it. And for the rest of you, thank you all so much. For continuing to support the channel i truly appreciate it and if you are interested in becoming a member there is a link in the description down below and i will see all of you beautiful people in the next two weeks have a great one everyone